So good morning everyone. Welcome back to the hillside. And in front of you, um, I want to highlight a plant that is perfect for filling in a sloping area or maybe a bank you have that you found difficult to get other plants to grow. Uh, this is primrose. Yeah, so it's just a pink primrose. has a really old time feel to it. And when I plant this out, and this is a kind of pan back a little bit, it's kind of the uh, rock retaining wall and this kind of slopes up upwards until it gets up to the yard. So this is about a 40, 45 degree bank area, which I had a lot of trouble getting plants to just take hold because of the, uh, you know, the sloping nature of this little uh, area right here. So uh, I ended up getting some cuttings, probably five or six, and just kind of spread them out. And over the last couple of years, they have absolutely just taken over and filled this entire area in. Now, if you look closely, uh, right in this area up here, it is still a little bit thinned out. Uh, we had some pretty bad drought last year, and some of this did die back. Um, so yeah, you may need to add a little bit of supplemental water until it gets established, but I have done literally nothing. Uh, once these guys have gotten established and taken over, they are just absolutely filling in all the, all the uh, empty spaces. It's blooming prolifically. Uh, this thing is just absolutely swarming with pollinators. There are bumblebees. Uh, there was a couple wasps, uh, some butterflies yesterday I saw, and this thing's just absolutely just covered. So it's a win-win uh, -win kind of plant for everybody. I mean, it, like I said, it provides plenty of pollen for the pollinators. If I can catch this guy right here. There he is right there. Yep. So they're definitely enjoying this plant right here. So like I said, plenty of pollen, plenty of beneficial uh, things for the insects. Uh, at least in my experience, the deer have nibbled this a little bit, but never too much. Just typical deer, you know, browsing damage. Here's a, it's a honeybee. If I can get him back, there we go. So yeah, I mean, it's a wonderful plant. Like I said, I do nothing for this. It just grows and grows and takes care of itself. And that's sometimes one of the best things you can have in a garden setting, is to do nothing. Just let nature take its course. These plants will do just fine. Um, I do try to mulch this early in the spring so it has a fresh coat of mulch just to kind of help retain the moisture as it is a sloping area. But other than that, I do literally nothing for this. And this guy is just multiplies, fills in, and uh, does, you know, wonderful things for your landscape as far as how beautiful it is. Um, pollinators, like I said, can't say enough about that. And just look at that sea of pink color right there. So if you want to try this at your house, it's super easy. This is a perennial. I live in a zone 6B, 7A, right on the border there, depending on the winter. And uh, this stuff, I've never had more than anything really die back on it. It just comes back better and better every year. Uh, I had no fertilizer to it. It takes very low maintenance. Uh, I don't water it. It's just self-sufficient. It does its own thing. So if you're looking for something to kind of fill in that bank area of your property that maybe you have trouble getting stuff to grow, highly, highly recommend this Primrose. It's a... Uh, it's a win on multiple levels. You won't be disappointed. The only thing I would recommend though is it does spread. So put it someplace that you want it to be contained. Um, if you put it in a place that is gonna spread that you don't want it to, you're gonna have to probably be you know, a little bit aggressive trying to make sure you do keep it from running or spreading seed or however this is, uh, however this is multiplying. I think it's actually both seed and by runners, quite honestly. So yeah, so if you put it in a place like maybe in a, a crowded flower bed that has other stuff growing, it may not be the best choice because it will be hard to contain it. But uh, this is the perfect plant, like I've said time and time again, to actually fill in a spot that nothing else maybe will grow. It'll take care of itself. It's a totally awesome plant. Give it a shot. This is the pink primrose. All right, guys, so this is uh, your Hillside Gardener signing off for this little quick uh, plant profile. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time here on the hillside. Bye-bye.